Hey, what's up everybody? I'm normally not this white. I even put shielding on my lights and it's still too bright. It's terrible. Must be the camera. Anyway, this is Russ with RWGresearch.com and what I want to show you right now is the gas processor. Uh, what I have here are, see if you can see that. There you can go. These are 10 millimeter, 70,000 CMD LEDs. All right, they're pretty big. I'll pull one out here for you. That's a that's a really big LED. The reason I bought such big ones is because the light intensity is way higher than most any other LEDs. So basically, I could have put the same amount of LEDs uh, in there and would have got almost like less than a quarter of the results. I have 10, no, I have 20 of these LEDs on my the the new processor here same one I just added those in between the infrared LEDs um, so basically I have a really really bright red 630 nanometer um, light now um, Stan's original equipment had I believe four rows of 16 red LEDs and they were the red LEDs that were coated uh, like fogged and they had red lenses. These have clear lenses and they're not fogged. Um, and I, I, I'm pretty sure, not positive, but I'm pretty sure that if you would take 84 red LEDs, which is what he was using, and compare them to the 20 that I have, that this would be way more light. Now that's just the 20 red. I also have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4. What is that? 12, 24. Yeah, 24 of the other UV LEDs okay so there's a total of let's see I can't do math very well 20 <laughs> yes I can 40 what four that's right gotta do my math right 44 LEDs okay versus the 84 but my intensity is so much brighter that I really think it's okay so for those of you who are, are like really worried about the amount of LEDs I'm using believe me it's enough now I'm gonna hook this up real quick for you. Again, my lighting, I just that really frustrates me to be honest with you. But uh we'll set it up here. I'm gonna hook it up to this battery and you can see how you can see how much light this thing is putting off. Um it it, it you can you can see the UV and you can see the red. Um and it is putting off a lot of light. What I'm gonna do is actually turn off the um the lights here because it, it's crazy so I'll be right back okay guys so I'm walking back to the lab here and basically I want to show you how bright this thing is uh, the camera shows quite a bit of light but I'll be a hundred percent honest with you I have a hard time looking at this um, I really do you can see if I get real close and I can focus in on the light intensity you can, might be able to kind of tell. I mean, it's putting out a lot of light. Um, way more, way more, in my personal opinion, than what what Stan was using. It's it's actually putting out a good amount of heat. Um, it's not really heat rising. It's just more you can feel the heat. Probably the resistor is getting warm. Uh, there's 600 and I'm sorry, 560 ohms, pulling 20 milliamps a piece. At approximately two volts. That's for all the LEDs um, individually, each one of them. So I'm gonna stand back here, and you can see how bright my screen is. It's pretty bright. So it's uh, it's it's definitely way brighter than that. Um, tell you what, I'll turn my screen off, and uh, you can see. I mean, it's you know, you can see my hand here. I can I can see the room really well. And it's these LEDs are focused in. Um, camera went out of focus there. These LEDs are focused in. You can see the white. I mean, look at my hat. My hat's, you know, it's a white hat. And uh, the UVs, kind of making it glow. You can see how it's glowing. But yeah, and and these things are focused in towards those those openings inside there. So uh, I don't know if you can see me. Oh, look at that. Look how much light that thing puts off. Um, you guys can actually see me. That's crazy. I mean, it really is. It's nuts. So, anyway, I just want to give you a little update. This is Russ with RWGResearch.com. And, uh, 
Again, Smart Scarecrow Show coming up here. That UV is probably really bad for my eye, so I'm not going to look at it. I probably shouldn't even keep it where it's at. Yeah, looks like some sort of a crazy monster. I'm going to pop the cap on it real quick. And, uh... There you go. There's the full product. It seriously looks like some sort of a reactor. It's crazy. <laughs> That wasn't the goal, but that's what it looks like. So, for you guys out there, here is the new advanced hydrogen gas gun. Um, I mean, you can see, look how much light's coming through that plastic. That plastic is two inches thick. Look at the light coming through the top of it. That's not reflecting out. That's actually coming through the top. I mean, I can see that whenever I look at it. It's nuts. Um, so there you go. Uh, RustStarWGResearch.com, leaving you in the dark. Peace. Oh man, you can still see me. That's boring. Ah! See you guys. Leave me a comment. Later.